Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about free space management. Since disk space is limited, therefore we need to reuse the space from uh, deleted files for new files if possible. So to keep track of free disk space, the system maintains a free space list. And the free space list records all free disk blocks. And uh, by free disk blocks, uh, I mean those blocks which are not allocated to some file or directory. In this tutorial, we will study about various methods of implementing free space list. First one is bit vector. So frequently, the free space list is implemented as a bitmap or a bit vector. In this method, each block is represented by one bit. If the block is free, the bit is 1. If the block is allocated, the bit is 0. It will be clear after this example. Suppose there is a disk and that disk has 5 blocks. And 2nd, 3rd and 5th block of that uh, disk are free. Then the free space bitmap or bit factor would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So in this bitmap or bit vector, you can see that second, third and fifth bits are one because second, third and fifth blocks are three and first and fourth bits are zero in this bitmap because first and fourth blocks of a disk are allocated. <coughs> now, the next method is linked list. So another method of implementing uh, this uh, free space list is linked list. So, this is the approach of uh, free space management in which uh, what happened we will link together all free disk blocks and we will keep a pointer to the first free block in a special location on the disk and we will cache it in memory. It will be clear after this example. Now see, suppose there is a disk which is uh, having a free block, so 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 8th, 9th and 11th and rest of the blocks of the disk are allocated, right? So the disk is having these blocks free and rest of the blocks of the disk are allocated. So in this situation what will happen? We will keep a pointer to second block as the first free block so the free space list had will point to the second block as a first free block and this block second block will contain a pointer to the third block third block will contain a pointer to the fourth block and it will point to fifth block and fifth block will point to eighth block and uh, eighth block will point to ninth ninth will point to tenth and 10th will point to left. So in this way a free space list will be implemented. <coughs> Another method of uh, implementing a free space list is counting. This approach takes advantage of the fact that generally several contiguous blocks may be allocated or freed simultaneously. So Therefore, rather than keeping a list of n free disk addresses, we keep the address of the first free block and the number n of free contiguous blocks that follow the first free block. So, in this case, each entry in the free space list consists of a disk address and a count. Right. So, in this case, what happens? The free space list. Uh, it, each entry of a free space list it consists of a disk address and a count so what happens what uh, this uh, disk address signifies uh, actually this uh, disk address will be the address of a first free block and a count is what this count is the number of free contiguous blocks that follow the first block so each entry in a free space list in this case what it has first it has a address of the first free block and then it has a number of free contiguous block that follow the first block <coughs> 